Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Lady, you just keep on stepping up to the plate. And every time you step up, I'm going to whip your ass. Literally. That one is for the bros. That's one for the men that have to tolerate your bull crap. That's one for all the baby daddies that got to tolerate bull crap from you. That's one for the Pookies and Tyrones that done ran through you, that done made you think that every man is like that. And that one is for your delusion. Now, let's get into this damn video. This lady right here, she just doesn't stop and she won't give up. She just won't give up. Every time you put out a video, I'm going to put out a video to rebuttal it every single time. I don't care. I'm going to let the world know that you are a fraud and what you're saying is not correct, okay? Men, we don't have it easy in relationships. You know why? Because nothing in relationships benefit men, period. Nothing benefits men this day and age, at least this day and age. Nothing benefits men from being with you Western women. All most of you Western women are, not all of you, but some of you, all you are is a headache and a bill. That's all you are. Now, I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get right into the damn video. You know, I really, I really got to give it up to men. They're not as stupid as we keep saying that they are. They have literally convinced women and men that the dynamic of a heterosexual relationship is that the woman will do everything for you. Whether or not she works or stays home and works inside the home, she is your nurse, your personal assistant, your sex worker, your therapist, chauffeur, nanny, cook, etc., etc. You're our therapist, our nanny, our sex partner. What what are you supposed to I, I don't give a damn if, if to hell with even being a wife. What are you supposed to do even if you're a girlfriend? What are we supposed to do? Just sit and look at each other? No man, I repeat, I'm gonna repeat this again. No man needs you to clean up their household for them. But most men, all they're saying is if they actually made you a wife or these men wanted to court you, most most men would want to know that you can do some of these things for them. But you women want men to live a happy wife, happy life type of mode, right? That's why I say, all you women want us to do is please you. And any woman that is listening to her advice, you're getting advice from a loony bin. You're literally getting advice from a loony bin. This lady knows nothing that she talks about. She's dealt with so many pookies and ray rays that it has damaged her brain. The loads, the loads that those men have shot out have gone to her brain and messed her brain up. They've messed her brain up. Men aren't, men don't have it easy in relationships and men benefit no way, no how from women, period. Unless those men, unless those men want a child. That's it. To, to a child to continue their legacy. That's it. Any other way, men aren't benefiting from you at all. Etc. And they single-handedly convinced us that that's how it's supposed to be and that we're supposed to like it. So much so to the point where if we don't like doing those things, we will feel guilty and we will feel like we're not good moms and we're not good wives and we're not good girlfriends. We because will... you're not. You're not. And us men don't make you feel less of than yourself, to be honest with you. You women are always doing that. Well, you're not a real man if you can't buy me a house. You're not a real man if you don't take me on 30 dates, 30 days out of the month. You're not a real man if you can't buy me a new car. You're not a real man if you can't pay my bills. If you can't pay at least 10 of these, uh, if you can't pay at least nine of these 10 bills, you're not a real man. You women are the one that shame men every time. Us men don't shame you. Us men don't shame you into doing anything. 
us men will sit back, we'll look, we'll observe. And when we know that you can't do some of the stuff that some traditional women should be doing, we make a run for it. Or we know that we're going to use you accordingly. We want nothing to do with you. Nothing at all to do with you. And that's why us men are going our own way and doing what we're doing this day and age. We'll feel as if we're being lazy. If we are not constantly at the beck and call of our children and of our men. If you are not happy doing those things, you are a horrible, lazy, selfish person. There is a video circulating around online of a man saying that if he worked 12 hours and he came home to hamburger helper and two slices of bread, he would be pissed. Now I have a couple questions. Number one, are they still financially not in a good place to where that's all they could afford? Shut the, shut the hell up. You know exactly what that man means. Most of these Western women, unfortunately men, they don't know how to cook. They don't know how to cook. And that's why men try to court you. They date you for a while. They might even live with you for a while if they choose to do so because they want to see if you can do these certain things. No man wants to come home to Hamburger Helper if he worked a 12-hour day. Most men would want to come home to at least a three-course meal, maybe steak, maybe potatoes, and a side of corn, a little bit of color on a plate. Not no damn Hamburger Helper that you can whip up in 10 minutes. Men want to know that you can put effort into cooking because they're putting effort into working, working overtime and paying most of the bills that you women act like you can't pay. So if I'm putting in all my effort into making sure that you can live in a nice house with the white picket fence, the least you could do is cook a three or four course meal for me when I get home. Not no goddamn hamburger helper. Is the woman sick? Is she depressed did she also work all day does she have kids excuses she got to come up with all these scenarios like she really has to come up with a million scenarios when i can guarantee you she know exactly what men are talking about cut it out with all the extra crap we're not talking about all these extra scenarios that you're talking about. Of course that stuff can happen in life. Of course your girl or your wife can be sick. We're not going to expect her to do those things. But most of these women, for the most part, they'll be healthy as hell. They can run out and get their busted lace front done for 10 hours. They can go get their pedicures and manicures. They can go shopping for about five hours. Why can't you cook me up a meal that might take an hour or two? Exactly that she has to take care of. Let me tell you about my dad. My dad worked almost 30 years at a paper mill. And we're talking 12 plus hour shifts, six to seven days straight. There was some times when he wouldn't even get a day off. His shifts would alternate um, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., 7 to 3, 3 to 11 sometimes longer. My dad never put an expectation on my mom to cook for him. And that's why you're the way you are right now. That's why you're the, that's why you're the way you are right now. Exactly. That's exactly why you're the way you are right now. Your mother didn't show you any better. Your mother didn't show you any better. And obviously, your mother wore the pants in that family. You're telling me your father worked in a male 12-hour shift and didn't have any expectations for your mother? Are you kidding me? Because if my daddy worked 12 or 14-hour shifts, my mother better have him a meal cooked in the kitchen. She better have that man some clean clothes laid out for the next day of work if she's at home. That's her duty. Her duty is to fulfill that. That's her duty as a wife. That's all most men are asking for. How is that so hard to cook a man a three or four course meal? I will never understand that. Never. In my life, I won't. Un I can't understand that for the life of me. You women even complain about cooking for your own kids. You'd rather get your kids that poisonous McDonald's every day. Burger King every day. 
something that you can throw in the microwave every day. You women don't want to do nothing. That's why most of you women, not all of you women, that's why you're useless. And that's why men aren't taking you serious. And that's why you're going to be stuck just where you're at. Online complaining every day about what you're not going to do for a man. Enjoy your cat and box wines or your plant because you did stay before you had a lovely plant. If he was hungry and nothing was cooked, he would go get something or he would cook something himself. If my mom felt like cooking, she would cook, but it wasn't like a feminine responsibility to cook, to clean. It was whoever cooked, fucking cooked. Everybody cooked, everybody cleaned. I see so many women. They're like, well, I don't, I don't mind doing everything for my husband because he's so amazing. Yeah, uh, he's so amazing that he sits back and lets you do everything for him. I mean, think about this. How cra crazy. Crazy. And that's why they have husbands. Yeah, that's why they have husbands who are probably ha satisfied. Here you go again on the internet talking about nothing. You don't know where to go with your story. You don't know where to go with your story. And that's why those women have husbands that are probably happy and they're happily married. And you're not. You're a divorced single mother of two. That only gets banged out by Pookie and Ray Ray's. You make sure you draw on your eyebrows before you see them. But all you do <coughs> is get banged out by Pookie and Ray Ray's. Now let's continue. Crazy is out. You're not very amazing if you get to sit back and watch me cook and clean and care for our children. That's somebody that's taking advantage. To me, an amazing man is, you know what? You cook, I clean. I cook, you clean. We're both washing the clothes. Maybe you wash them. Let's get something clear real quick, okay? Let's get something clear real quick. If a man is in his household, he'll take care of all that stuff by himself. If you're in your household, I'm pretty sure you would take care of all that stuff by yourself. Here's the problem. Once you women have a man that commits to you and marry you, you women start getting lazy and feel like you don't have to do anything, period. That's the problem. You end up moving in together and then you women don't want to do nothing. A man doesn't see you doing any of that. So what do you, ex how do you ex expect the man to fail? Knowing his wife doesn't want to cook. We got to flip a coin to see who cooks and clean. When the man, which you expect him to do, you expect him to work harder. You expect him to be the provider. You expect him to be the protector. What else do you want from men? And what do you think men should expect you to do as a wife or a girlfriend if y'all cohabitate together? I'm sorry, ladies out there, but you 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 used up you used up poom poom ain't cutting it anymore. We can go get that a dime a dozen. Your used up, busted, fishy poom poom is not cutting it anymore. You think you get so much leadway because of your menopause up, dried up, fishy stink poom poom. It's not going to cut it anymore. And most of you women don't understand that. That's what you don't understand. Us men can get poom poom or busted yam a dime a dozen. Especially when the men have themselves together. You're 40 plus with two kids. How far do you think you're going to get with your busted yam? I'll wait. Exactly. I'll dry and fold or we'll switch off. Saturday morning, we're up. You take the kitchen. I'll take the bathroom. You take the living room. I'll take the whatever. And we're working as a team. It's not just these are women's chores. These are men's chores. Maybe one Saturday we're doing the lawn work and you know, I'll rake the leaves and he'll put them in a bag or he'll mow the lawn and I'll weed whack. I love a good weed whacker. We can pick up dinner or go out to eat. I just, I want, if I were to ever get into another relationship, I want it to be as a team, not some man expecting me to be his own little personal assistant. Yeah, I it sounds good. She, what she's saying, it sounds good. Until that man says, we should go 50-50 on bills. Then it's, 
you're not a real man if we got to go 50 50 on bills you should be the provider until it's y'all go out and you have an altercation with somebody out there you're supposed to be my protector you're supposed to be the protector uh, it's all it, it, it sounds good like what you saying it sounds real good but in reality it's not like that it's nothing like that i don't find that sexy i don't understand how women have have convinced themselves that that's how it's supposed to be one of my married mutuals on this app they are living the life that i am speaking of as a matter of fact, two of them that I know of are living the life that I'm speaking of. And I love it. I love it because people will try to convince women that that doesn't exist. That the only options for us is to be the domestic labor and the child carer and carry the relationship on our fucking back. Just like y'all expect us to work, be the provider and be the protector. Bring home the bacon. Make sure that you have it all. Make sure that you don't need for anything in life. Just like you women put these heavy expectations on men. What's the difference? If I'm going to be your provider and protector, I expect you to take care of the kids and cook my goddamn dinner. That's what I expect of you. If you can't do that, we don't need to be together. It's as simple as that. And I hope all the men out there can agree with that. And I'm here to tell you, mine eyes have seen the glory, ladies, okay? And if you just wait and you do not settle, okay, there is glory for you. So her audience has to be 35 plus. I would love to see her analytics. I would love to know the target audience that comes in and watches her. They have to be 35-year-old and up, washed up multiple kids ran through between ran through uh by pookies and Ray. they have to be there's no way and i promise you there's no way that even 20 percent of her audience i'm gonna say 20 percent of her audience is probably younger girls younger than 25 there's no way there's just no way they're not gonna take a, advice from an old bitter hag like this there's no freaking way i refuse to believe it i refuse to believe it willing to be by your damn self until you get what you want. I was talking to one of my friends the other day and she said, you know what? I guess it's just, you know, everybody has something wrong with them and you just pick somebody who has the least wrong with them. I agree to a certain extent. I have bipolar disorder, anxiety, depression. I have little neuro. Oh, oh, we know. You don't have to tell us that. The men out there, we can see you perfectly. We know what's going on with you. We know you have a bipolar disorder. You show it day in and day out when you come on YouTube. And that's why I put ladies like you on my channel. That's why I put women like you on my channel. So men can at least know what they're getting into. Guys, if any lady listens to her, if you ever meet a lady and she states that she listened to this lady, Jules Lowell, run. Just run. They have a mental disorder, straight up. Sees and weird shits that I do, sure. But I'm not abusive, I'm not manipulative, and I'm not controlling, and I don't take advantage. How many of you out there believe that? Raise your hand. I can't see you, but raise your hand. How many of you out there believe that? She's not, at least controlling. Do you think she's not controlling? All righty then. Manager people. But please just think about this for a second, sisters. Just think about this. Women say, my husband is so great, my boyfriend is so great that I don't mind doing everything. But flip-flop that and just think about it. They're so great that they sit back and they let you do everything. Because when that's your job. If I'm married to you, that's your job. Your job is to cook. Your job is to clean. Your job is to make sure the kids get to school and back home from school. If I'm bringing home and working and doing everything that I'm supposed to do as a man. That's your job, you stupid bitch. That's your job. It is. When they could be doing something. That sounds like they're getting a pretty good deal. And they've convinced us to think that it really is. Because you're so fucking great. Let's stop this damn Please video you right you do. there. What you do. Straight. She She's annoying, man. 
she is straight up annoying i don't care what anybody say this lady right here is straight up annoying like she's not gonna get anywhere far anytime soon and i'm pretty sure most men can see that she's never gonna have a man she already predicted her own future anyways that's my video for today if you like the video of course comment like and subscribe it ain't costing you a damn thing and of course i'm gonna holler back at y'all later peace